Now we know that when the gut is dysfunctioning, that can lead to leaky gut. And if you have leaky gut, then the intestinal lining becomes more permeable. So microbial content and food particle can leak out of the leaky gut and that can cause systemic inflammation. Now, if you have leaky gut and dysbiosis, which means that gut microbiome is in balance, either not having enough beneficial bacteria or having too much of the opportunistic bacteria, this can all cause the systemic inflammation, which is gonna translate into an increase in inflammatory cytokines. Cytokines are immune messengers of how the immune system talk to each other. It's kind of like them sending text messages to each other to signal inflammation, to signal that there's an infection. These inflammatory cytokines can readily cross the blood-brain barrier. They can, they can either damage the blood-brain barrier, which are the blood vessels that supply blood to the brain. So they can either damage the blood-brain barrier, but they can also just simply cross the blood-brain barrier, even if the blood-brain barrier is not damaged. They can just passively diffuse through it. So when that inflammatory cytokine gets into the brain, that causes brain inflammation, and that can cause downstream problems.